Hey you all, what's up? I know it's been a little bit since I've posted, but I'm a little busy, so bear with me and forgive me if you guys have missed me. I have things that I'm doing in my life, so like I said, I'm a bit busy, but I will be posting more often soon when I have more free time. And of course, I'm going to be here for the release of the Poke Animals, as I call it, but Sword and Shield, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I'll be looking forward to that. And I hope you all will too. So anyways, oh yeah, and welcome to any of my new subscribers and thank you for the support. I appreciate the channel growth. I wouldn't have to be it. I would not have been able to get here and make it to this level of channel growth and support without you guys. So all of your support is very much appreciated. Thank you all very much. All of you. I really, truly, truly do appreciate it. All right. So today I have a really short video, I guess, because I only have a few things that I want to say. Um, there was a video that I made called Activision changes his name to Money Grab Vision. You guys could take a look at that video i'll leave it right here in the links in the description and also i'll leave it right here in the card which you can click in the top right hand corner of the screen right now but the reason why i even mentioned that video is because it says a lot about kind of what i have to say in this particular video um right now well of course many of you are aware of the activision blizzard type of debunkle that happened with uh bliss chong and uh the hearthstone banning of because of his support for the china protest and the chinese so-called oppression over there and he got banned and so did the two sportscasters that also supported bliss chong and pushing him to do it but at the end of the day it was up to bliss chong but the punishment was harsh everybody else was covering it and it just was being covered already so i didn't really have much i needed to say but i saw everything that was going on and initially no i don't think what activision blizzard was doing is right anyways long story short of course Activision Blizzard has to move on and continue to do what they do so they hold BlizzCon they didn't cancel it which I thought that they would but of course they would not do that anyways so at BlizzCon Jay Allen Brack comes out and gives an apology and this is what he had to say you know uh, Blizzard had the opportunity to bring the world together in a tough Hearthstone esports moment about a month ago and we did not. We moved too quickly in our decision making. And then, to make matters worse, we were too slow to talk with all of you. When I think about what I'm most unhappy about, there's really two things. The first one is we didn't live up to the high standards that we really set for ourselves. And the second is we failed in our purpose. And for that, I am sorry, and I accept accountability. Now, a lot of people are upset with this half, I'm sorry, from Activision and J. Allen Breck, which uh, I could agree with. This apology proves nothing, but rather than the soothe point to say, well, hey, yeah, we did it. OK, so what? But your actions speak louder than your words. He even said he's going to have accountability held upon himself for things and actions that he takes in the future but yet we don't see any action of him being sorry rather than that apology where is the unbanning of bliss chong and the sportscasters he could have easily restated them right then and there a lot of people have a lot of reason to be upset because this is just another thing just to say, OK, we're going to come out and say this and this will make you guys leave us alone and we can continue with our presentation because it's just words. But I was always taught to look for the actions of what 
people do, not what they say out of their mouth. You got to put the two together in order to get some type of result. Now, the only reason why I stated this before about and a lot of people are upset. Yes, granted, they should be because, you know, they come out and say, well, I'm sorry, but yet they'll continue to do the same thing. And yet their actions don't prove that they are sorry, because if you're sorry, you'll stop doing what you're doing. You're not just going to say you're sorry. The first act that should have been made when J. Allen, when J. Allen Brack came out was to say, yes, he's sorry for what he's done. Yes, he should take accountability for what he's done. But yet he should also now unban Blitz Chong and the two sportscasters or esports casters that were terminated at the time. But then they were reinstated and suspended like Blitz Chong for six months. Um, same for Blitz Chong. He was terminated, too. But um, yeah, he should have reinstated them immediately. That's what he should have done. But instead, that ban is still there. That would have been the first act of good faith saying, OK. We're going to change our ways. But you didn't see that. None of this happened. He just came out and gave an I'm sorry, but didn't act. And I believe many people just accepted this. You know, and I and I know, yeah, we're supposed to want to forgive people, but you can't forgive someone who doesn't act and show forgiveness. I'm not saying in the future that this won't happen anymore, but. I can certainly tell you what I've seen. I've seen him come out and make this apology, but or say I'm sorry, but he hasn't acted and made the first good act of faith, and that's unbanning Bliss Chong and the two esports casters that were also um, put on this ban. So anyway, um, I hope you guys take. You guys and girls take a look at uh, that video. Uh, Activision changes his name to Money Grab Vision because it tells a lot from what the company's perspective, from what they feel about you as a as a customer. At the end of the day, you all have to understand that you have the power in your hands. A lot of people are getting upset about what Activision and Blizzard is doing. Rather, you have no power to tell them what to do at all. Rather, the best vote you could do is with your wallets, with, you know, where you spend your money. At the end of the day, you can't make them do anything because there's a lot of people who continue to support them no matter what they do. And so since they do that, well, they're not going to stop doing it. The first thing you could do is to stop supporting them and stop giving them your money. And then they'll stop doing things like this because then the shoe will be on the other foot because they make the money from you. You know, it's not the other way around. You know, they're not giving you money. So if you would like a company to stop doing something, the best way you could vote is with your dollar and to stop supporting companies who don't support you. So that's my take on things. I know this video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I think this is important because a lot of people are complaining at what Activision didn't do. But the best thing you could do is not support what you don't like from that particular company because of what they're not doing, because you can't expect them to do that because they just don't. Anyways, take a look at that video, Activision changes his name to money grab vision i think you'll get a lot out of that and it's really truthful and it has a lot of meaning in it and it tells a story from their perspective because that's what they feel like because of what they do it doesn't matter what they say it's about their actions but anyways i just thought i'd put my little two cents in it may not matter very much it might but at the end of the day, I'm just putting this out there for those of you who want something to think about when it comes to anything in life, whether it's corporations, brothers, families, girlfriend, whatever. You know, so let me know what you all think about what J. Allen Brack's apology does for you. Do you accept it? Do you think his his apology is worthy of acceptance? 
Will you continue to support Activision and Blizzard? Or do you accept this apology? Anyways, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, this has been K7. I'll see you all later.